Okay, welcome back to another episode of Extreme Warfare Revenge. We are here with WCW 2001 and we have just completed our first month in charge. We are at the start of February now and now is a perfect time to review this past month. So overall it's been a successful month. So let's go to the very start. Uh, we started off with a 66% uh, rating overall. Um, Goldberg and Scott Steiner started the feud. Uh, Ric Flair and Sting started theirs. We have a TV title tournament going on. Um, usually have a cruiserweight match in there and um, a hardcore uh, title match every so often. Um, we had the stable of uh, a blackout debuting, which got a very good response. But later on, um, they lost a little bit of heat after after a match they had. Uh, so we got 72 there, 65 for Saturday night, 68, 72, 73 for Saturday night, uh, and then 74 for Sin. That was our highest of the whole month, uh, followed by 70 for Nitro, 69, uh, another 69, 68, 66, and 65. So the last few shows, uh, we've been dropping a little bit. Um, we've still got all our major feuds going on, but they're about to be ended uh, very soon. So let's have a look at our champions. Billy Kidman is a current Cruiserweight champion. Bam Bam Bigelow is the current hardcore champion. O'Hare and Palumbo are the tag champs. Rey Mysterio is the TV champion. The US champion is Jeff Jarrett. And the world champion is still Scott Steiner. We look at our feuds. Uh, we see this feud here. Scott Steiner just ahead of Goldberg. Sophie says... Um, Keep the feud relatively even or let one of the workers get a large advantage. Uh, Ric Flair and Sting, very close. Jarrett and the Cat. Jarrett has got the upper hand on that one. Insiders and Totally Buff, very close. Uh, same with Booker T and Canyon. Dustin Rhodes and Rick Steiner. Rick Steiner's got the edge there. And Billy Kidman, Chavo Guerrero, uh, as you can see. So we're going to be continuing those feuds uh, for a little bit. Whether I can drag out for likes of Goldberg, Steiner uh, to Super Brawl Revenge, which is a pay-per-view this month. I'm not too sure. Um, it's It's been a bit of a hit and miss feud, but more of a hit. I, I think it could have been better than it actually has been. Uh, Super Brawl Revenge is on the 18th of February, so just over halfway through the month there. Look at our finances, which was an issue. We've actually made a profit this month. A profit of 497,600. No, that's 4 million, is it? We've made uh, quite a lot of money uh, without having to work it out. So, um, if I can keep that up for a bit, maybe you know I can start splashing out a bit more. But we're still, I think, in a precarious uh, position. Uh, we've Saturday night has been dropped. We've only got two TV shows uh, a week now. Um, public image, I think it was 10%. It's gone up to 28%, which is good. Obviously, for WWF are our main um, competitors. Top stars being Rock, McMahon, Austin, Triple H and The Undertaker. I don't know why I would ever give money. Attempt buyout. Um I'm expecting Vince McMahon attempting to uh, buy us out pretty soon. See, there's our two TV shows uh, for week. That tells us our ratings for the last uh, last time. Send out promo tapes. Let's send out a promo tape to... It's very difficult knowing what, uh, what channel. TBS is the one that dropped us. Um... See, ABC Family is not... I don't think uh, they would pick it up. ESPN would be a good one. Let's see what they say back. Anyway, um, with regards to our top stars, it'll say... Here we go. 
Our, tro uh, our top drawer is Ric Flair, so he should be for focus of our shows. Well, he, he has been one of the main focuses of our shows. I've not used these three uh, ladies yet, although Tigress is actually a man in this game, uh, funnily enough. Um, I don't know why. But anyway, um, our top five faces, Sting, Booker T, Goldberg, Kevin Nash, Dusty Rhodes. Uh, top five heels, Ric Flair, Scott Steiner, Jeff Jarrett, Mike Sanders and Lance Storm. And that indicates to me we, we've got a bit of a lack in depth. Say, say if Goldberg does win the title from Scott Steiner, which that feud, uh, that's what it should be leading up to. But who does Goldberg um, feud with after that for the world title? Ric Flair, he's, I wouldn't have him in contention for a world title. It would have to be Jeff Jarrett, probably Jeff Jarrett, who's the US champ. And I don't think, I, I don't really want Jeff Jarrett in the um, title scene, the heavyweight title scene. So, um, I think Scott Steiner will probably retain and start a feud with Sting when he's done with Ric Flair. But, uh, we will see. No, nobody is unhappy. There's all our working conditions, all at 100%. Um, written worker contracts. We've offered Chavo Guerrero a new contract uh, he signed. Um, whose contract is coming to an end? Jimmy Hart. Uh, I've got no plans for him, so I'm going to let him go. It'll be um, a bit off a wage bill as well. Um, I had a look at the internet as well. And... Um, it's interesting reading a few of these. This is the Ryland report. Um, he says, expect to see a lot more Lance Storm, Trevor Guerrero, Shane Douglas and Rey Mysterio in the coming weeks. That's uh, very interesting. Um, a feud between Goldberg and Scott Steiner continues to rage on, threatening to tear WCW apart in the process. What will it take to settle this blood feud? That, uh, that looks pretty good. And these are the top ten. AJ Styles is second, and if you notice, um, the uh, the connection with all of these, except Lance Storm, although he could probably pass as one, they are all cruiserweight. So the cruiserweight division is on fire. So that's uh, that's this video. I'm pretty pleased. No one's lost too much heat. Um, but it's just, it's just about building up some stars. And I think when these current feuds end, um, it'll really help um, for guys in question. It'll help their careers. So I'll be back for an episode today of Thursday Funder. Hopefully it will go down well and I will see you then.